What is up ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Life in the Face video, and today we're going to be talking about getting your first job. For those who don't know, I actually got my first job uh, about three months ago. Getting your first job is probably one of the scariest and most eye-opening things in the world. It's like, okay, I have to adult now. I must be an adult, I must pay taxes, be on time, reliable transport. It's just like, oh my god, I don't like this. For me, it was a transition from being kind of like a young adult to being just an adult. Fuck. And then I get the job and I get my paycheck and I'm like, oh, they give me money. Okay, so if you're wondering, what I, um, I got a job as a busser. Uh, or busboy or whatever you want to call it, and that only lasted a few weeks until I became a server because I was just like, this is boring. I want to have something a little more um, fast-paced. A little, a, I want something that's more energetic. I don't want to name the restaurant because I don't want to get fired, so we'll talk about that later in the video about not talking about your work while you still work at your work, that kind of thing. But yeah, so I'm a waiter. I make okay money. Um, I depend entirely upon tips. Like. My paycheck, I get paid like two fifty an hour. It's ridiculous. The, when you get your first job, it's most likely you're going to be either in a restaurant or in retail. So you're either going to be working at like some store as a cashier, or maybe you'll work at a grocery store, or you'll work in like a restaurant, you busboy, waiter, host. These are all entry level jobs. I don't have any retail experience, so take this advice with a grain of salt. I think being a waiter is better than being in retail. I do gripe about my job a lot. I do kind of hate it sometimes because you just deal with some guests and it's just like, God kill me now. But in all honesty, I feel like being a waiter teaches you a lot more than being like a cashier or something. Because being a waiter will teach you many things. A, it'll teach you time management. B, it'll teach you to pace yourself. Um, so like making sure that you're not like overworking yourself and then, you know, have a mental breakdown, which I've seen happen. People have literally broken down because they couldn't pace themselves and they didn't manage their time correctly and it was just like <laughs> they were put. And then it teaches you stuff like multitasking. Multitasking is a huge thing about serving. You have to be able to multitask like it's second nature. I can multitask now because like second nature because it's just it's something I don't even think about anymore. It's just I just do it. Like I'll go to a table, I'll greet them I'll get their drink order and I'll pass by the next table, I'll get their drink order and I'll get all the drinks together, bring it back out, and then like get the orders, or if I'm, like I'll pass through all my tables, see if anyone needs anything, go to the back, get everything I need, and then go come back out and give it all, you know, give out like, you know, bread here, or food here, or drink there, you know, whatever it is. So, multitasking, time management, and pacing yourself. These are three life skills that you need for the real world, and serving teaches it to you like this. Like this is you, and this is your job, and here are the skills and somewhere in the middle. Boom! I'm not kidding. <laughs> if you, when you become a server, it's like instant, you need to like get on the ball because the restaurant doesn't care. They need servers to do stuff, like right then and there, so <laughs> they put you through a little bit of training, but then you're pretty much on your own. What to do and not to do in a restaurant I'm going to talk about restaurants mainly because it's the one job I really know. Do not ever, ever, ever post anything on social media about your guests. Like if you had a bad day, you're complaining about something, or you're complaining about one of your coworkers or management, don't do that. Because somehow these motherfuckers will find you and fire you. Like. I don't know how this keeps happening, but people will just post something like snarky or something and then boom, they're fired. Because the company's just like always on social media, oh, 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 let's find these guys and fire them. <laughs> because, you know, shit. But it's even happened before where someone made like a positive skit about their restaurant and then got fired. For me, this is kind of like, oh shit, I have a lot of stories, but I don't want to say anything yet because I don't want to get fired. So maybe when I change jobs, then I'll talk a bunch of shit. Tip number two, always keep a smile on your face. Um, you will have horrible guests. You will have racist guests. You will have every sort of person in this world, and they will come to you and expect you to bend over backwards for them. Just keep going. When I get a really bad table, for example, or these people are just 
not treating me very well, um, even though I'm tr trying to treat them as best as I can. You know, I'm really nice on top of the table, but they are just like, me, 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 me. I just think about as soon as I leave, I'll get a better table. Just keep a smile on your face. Don't think about them. Like, stop concentrating on them. Just concentrating on making sure you're doing your job correctly. Because, believe it or not, as a server, the best tips I've ever gotten were either from A, really happy drunk people, or B, really, really mean people. I'm not kidding. I've gotten great tips from just normal people, yes, but my best tips, okay, except for like this giant party we had, were from those two types of people. Keep that in mind. Anyways, that's all I had to say about um, getting your first job. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want me to go into more detail about anything else, or you guys have a subject you want me to talk about, because this is life in the face where I give you guys advice and just talk about my experiences doing certain things. Um, so yeah, so if you guys have any ideas for videos or anything you want me to do, comment down below. All my social media and everything is in the links down below. Um, I hope you guys like this new setup of video. I actually have makeup on, believe it or not. <clears throat> my girlfriend did my makeup right before the shoot because I look dead. I was horrible. But now I look beady. Yay! But <laughs> yeah, no, believe it or not. So I'm putting a lot of effort into these videos. Um, granted, they still are sort of not unscripted yet scripted. I've got some notes of points I wanted to talk about. But yeah, so... I want to know what you guys want to see, um, what, what you guys' ideas are, like, for um, other topics, so make sure to comment down below, leave a like if you like the video, and if you're new here, welcome to the Wolf Fam, make sure to hit, hit that subscribe button. So until next time, make sure to love yourselves and love life, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces! Just understand